Hello everyone. Uh, we are going to solve problem 30 of chapter 17. The uniform girder AB has a mass of 8 megagram, which means that 8,000 kilogram. Determine the internal axial shear and bending moment loadings at the center of girder. If a crane gives it an upward acceleration of 3 meter per second square. Whenever the problem is telling us internal forces, that means that we have to uh, take a section cut. So finding the bending moment and shear and axial forces is similar to a strength of material problem. But in dynamic, we have acceleration as well. So our equations are going to be a little bit uh, different. So let's draw a free weight diagram for this case. We have a bar, AB, we have the two tension, EAC, as well as TBC. We have the angle, 60 degrees for both. And then we have the weight, which is eight megagram or 8,000 kilogram. For the whole bar is acting at the center of gravity, it's very easy to uh, determine the center of gravity for a uniform bar. Therefore, we have also a kinetic diagram. So for kinetic problems, you always need to draw kinetic diagram as well, which shows you your acceleration. The acceleration that we have here, just going upward. So MA, mass, 8,000, A, linear acceleration is three. So I can easily find the tension in, in the ropes. I can write summation of forces in X. That means that the two are gonna be, have the same value. We also could determine that using uh, symmetry. Summation of forces in X is zero. That means that TAC equals TBC. Also, summation of forces in Y yeah, it's not equal zero. In dynamic, I see more than often that uh, students write zero based on habit of static. So we have two tension. We want the vertical component, so that would be sine 60. We have the weight as well, so 8,000, 9.81. And if you have our acceleration, MA, M8,000, acceleration is three. The only unknown is T, which we, we can find T here to be, let me write it here. T can be found here and would be 59.16 kilonewt. So after finding the tension, now I can make a section cut. So the question is asking for uh, axial shear and bending at the center of the girder here. So I need to make a section cut. When I make a section cut, then I have a choice of using the right side or the left side of the beam. So let's keep the left side here. And now I draw the free body diagram of the section. So I have my section here. So this distance, I know it, so I don't need to write it as function of X. I know the distance is two meter, it's halfway. So this is uh, two meter, this distance. I know the force is acting, is the tension that I, I found the value to be 59.16 kilonewton. Then I have the weight. So the weight you need to be careful now because we are using a section of the beam. So we have to apply only the weight that uh, that, that that section has, which is half of that. So if the total is 8,000, this one is only 4,000. It's acting in the middle of the section. So if the whole thing is two meters, it's acting at one meter. Now we need to write our internal forces. Based on convention, we don't know the forces yet, but based on convention, uh, tension is positive. Positive curvature, the moment that causes the positive curvature would, would be positive. And also the shear forces right here, a shear force that will cause my section to rotate clockwise would be positive. 
So I have n, I have v, and I have m. So all I need to do now is to draw, to write my equations. Here we don't have equilibrium equation. Our section is not in equilibrium, but it's in motion. So we call it equations of motion. So I have my section. The only thing that my section has is the acceleration going upward. So even as half of the gear there also have the acceleration. So summation of forces in X direction would be zero. There is nothing going on in X direction. So I can find a normal force here. So five, nine, one, six. I write it in Newton rather than kilonewton. Cosine 60 will give me the X component. This angle is 60, cosine 60 plus N is positive uh, equals zero. So I can find N, that's our first unknown, to be negative 29.58 kilonewton. The negative sign would indicate that the direction that I assume is incorrect. And then summation of forces in Y, this time I can't write zero because I have acceleration, MAY. So my tension, I'm interested in the vertical component, so that would be sine 60. I have the weight acting on our system, 4,000, 9.81. And I have my shear force. But it's not equal to zero this time. It's, I have acceleration, M is 4,000, A is three, so 12,000. So the only unknown in this equation is V. So if you find it, you will find that V is zero. So actually there is no shear acting on our system. If we have this acceleration. You can solve this problem in equilibrium and you will find that we have a shear force. And then the last equation that we need to use is uh, summation of moment. But here we're gonna write the summation of moment about this point. Also, uh, summation of the moment for our, uh, we can find it, we can write summation of moment about different points. Uh, it, it's better to write summation of moment about these guys. So we get rid of the forces here. So summation of moment about C, let's not call it G. C would be the same as the moments of our kinetic. So I can write it summation of my kinetic moments about point C. So the terms of forces, all the forces would go away except the moment and also the gravity. So I have, I can write it here perhaps, I have M, I have the weight, sine 60, the total distance would be four, the moment arm, half of that would be two, Nine point eight one moment R and the moment of the acceleration would be M A the moment arm one. So if you go back to our system, if I write the moment equation about point C, this force is going to create a moment, but not the horizontal component. The vertical component is going to create a moment, and the moment arm is two. So 5916 sine 60 times two. And the moment that it's gonna create is uh, counterclockwise. So that's, that's clockwise, that so would be negative. And then I have my moment here. Also the other moment would be the, the weight, which is created counterclockwise, which would be positive. And also the moment that is created here on the other side, would be my, the moment of my kinetics. And the moment arm here is, is one. <clears throat> the total distance is two, half of that would be one meter. And if clockwise, it would be negative value. So writing the summation of moment about point C, I can find the only unknown, which is M. And M would be 51.23. Newton meter. 
and that's the moment of this uh, section. And I don't have any IG alpha component because there is no rotation. It's just simply going, going up. 